Seven deadly freight comp sins nobody wants to talk about. Number one on the list is envy. <laughs> hmm. What is there to say about envy? Whether it be views, subscribers, the newest hype train, Creed Viking, Creed Aventus. Envy is probably one of the most sought after sins in Fragcom. After all, everybody is wanting more. Which leads us into number two, gluttony. Gluttony in Fragcom is a magical thing. You can never have enough. You gotta keep going, keep pushing. I wonder what's motivating all the people in the fragrance community to continuously put out content. Top 10 list. After top 10 list. Hmm. You tell me. Next we have greed. You know what rhymes with greed? Creed. I bet you thought about that in your fucking noggin now, didn't you? Greed. Oh yes, to live a lavish lifestyle with beautiful women, lots of money, to be able to afford all the fragrances you want, to go on trips with fast company broads. Who wouldn't want that? Consumerism. Greed. Having to have the biggest best thing. The biggest hype train. Let that sink in. Lust. Kind of like I said, we wear fragrances because we want compliments from women. Is it going to get you compliments? Is it going to attract the opposite sex? Is this fragrance going to get my dick sucked? No. That's not how it works. That's the fucking cherry on top of the sundae. If you're not walking around looking like fucking Zac Efron, don't expect to wear any fragrance and get a compliment. Because a girl will approach you with or without the fragrance, yet we rely too much on this magical juice. Oh, the new YSL? That's the biggest compliment getter? That's your top 10 list? I guarantee you, 95% of those people that wear that fragrance don't get compliments from those beautiful women. But you never hear anyone bat an eye and say that, well, this didn't work out in my advantage. I wasn't getting my dick sucked the second I sprayed it. There's something fishy going on, and I ain't talking about my sister. Let's see. Hmm. Pride. Ouch. What is there to say about pride? Huh? It's like a fucking popularity contest. Everyone's pride gets hurt. Throwing around accusations. Troll comments. Talking mad shit. You little insecure motherfucker, is that what it is? Is your pride? Do you not have enough or do you have too much pride? Everyone's quick to get offended nowadays. Everything's so politically correct. Who gives a fuck? Pride. The fuck? Half you motherfuckers don't even know the definition. Sloth. Excessive laziness. Or not going to your full potential. I don't know. How many people gave up because they didn't become the biggest new sensation? Because they're not making an income from all this stuff. How many people fell out of love with fragrances because they just didn't work out for the channel so they stopped putting content up the channel hit a fucking halt a rut whatever you want to call it hmm bummer keep it chugging guys last but not least my favorite wraith uncontrollable feelings of anger and hate towards another person I'll let that one sink in troll comments secret haters huh even the ones that will smile to your face. Jealousy, anger, seven deadly sins. It's October. What a time to talk about such a beautiful subject. Those are the seven deadly sins. I didn't know Freycon was such a dirty place.